think that uh, Smeltzy is a top striker and he finds the net. And uh, unfortunately for us, probably the offer will come uh, sometime. And uh, we know and we have uh, some arrangement between us. And when the right offer will come, we will send him with congratulations, the same that we did with Adam. But it will be in the end of the year if, if necessary. Okay, so. <coughs> So that's it. We're not. Uh, he's 28, and we're not holding anybody. And we want 27. Sorry, he will be 28 when the offer will come, and and uh, we wish him all the best. That's that's our job to produce, uh, to help to help people in in their career. So that's the way I feel. Anyway, can we talk about the game? Not did, about Smelzy. Uh, 10 million dollar transfer. Did you expect such a lopsided scoreline? Yeah? I tell you, it's a moment. I try to be modest, but. I told Clive four, so uh, I miss by one. Now, on a serious note, I tell you, I tell you what you all the time talk about, and I'm not blaming you because we see the game from different angle. You're talking about the the amount of goals that we scored, but I'm proud more the fact that we keep in clean sheet. Right? We play against Fury, we won two nil. We play against Fulham, it was two one from free kick. We play against the Mariner, we consider the goal from Oak and Bogol and a free kick. And we haven't considered any more goals, so that's five or six. I'm not talking about local competition, but 20 odd games or whatever, and we concede one goal with 10 men from open game. And I think that's our strength. So, with all due respect to Smelty and the other, it's the organization and the fact that everybody from Smelty and Porter up to the back contributing defensive wise. And uh, even if you notice, we're playing with a second goalkeeper. So, can you imagine? So, uh, I think. I think that's that's the strength of the team, the workmen like, and the, and the other things that I'm proud of as a coach is the fact, you know, like people talk about other clubs without mentioning names. They got a lot of new player. Will take them time to gel. Will take them this. We have 23 new player, no less and no more, and and we gelled or whatever because we did the homework in the pre season. So, so that's from our point of view, you know. So I'm proud in the fact that we haven't considered the goal, and I'm proud in the fact that. Uh, that there is a cohesion. No one will come and say from outside, they said that's a new club that just established himself now. And that's second week in a row that we have a team-like performance. And that's, that's, that's for me, it's more important. Whether it will be 1-0 or 2-0 or 5-0, it's just for the fun, you know. Hopefully, that uh, that will bring the people because people will hear the 5 nils that will come from all over, from Bali 9, from uh, Brisbane, you know. So I also assume I know that it's a bit touchy subject. But the Gold Coast never used to, to have a football team and they never used to support football team. But there's no doubt in my mind that in the future we play three, four weeks against Sydney, you probably will see double of the crowds at my prediction with my minimum knowledge of marketing. So that's it. No more, no less. They were playing with like 10 men behind the ball and then once you scored once, they've had to play. You just like you. You saw the victory uh, Mariner last week, you know, had victory with the score first, would have been. But uh, I don't think that the uh, Fury was even close to score, you know what I mean? So it was a case when it will happen and, uh, and that's it, you know. And then you got uh, Shane Smeltz up front. So if we have normal front line, could have been 2-0, you know, today. It was five and if you count the, the Jason one-on-one, -on -one, that you give him another ten chances like this, nine will be in, could have been six. But again, look. Fury have a long way to go, and uh, Ian Ferguson is a good coach, and uh, it's good to see Robbie Fowler running for 90 minutes, oh, and Stefanuto just joined. They, they will give a lot of hard time to another team. Lucky we caught them at early stage, and uh, I believe also that, believe me, it will not be 5-0 in Townsville. That's I can tell you now. So we take it, we enjoy it another week. You know, to be a football coach is a very funny job. When you win, it's the best coach in the world. When you lose, it's the worst job in the world. So. Why do, you think, me enjoy. Yeah. why do you think the team's come together so quickly? It's just been hard work in the pre-season? It's just been... Well, Look, we, people people laugh and I think they said, why do you play against all the local competition, 20 pre-season game? And uh, ah, because you want to please yourself, you want to please Clive undefeated, so you play against all this uh, local competition. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Everything, we are human beings. In, in every field of life, Repetition is the key. If you're a basketballer, you have to shoot a thousand times a day, Michael Jordan will tell you. And if you're a golfer, you have to eat a thousand balls a day, uh, uh, Greg Norman will tell you. And every footballer, the more we play together, so we are together and we prepare the team. We have the same team once Jason finished commitment with the national team from mid-June, we're training together. You see, I can see uh, other teams still bringing player left, right and center. And that's a different, you know, it's like my, gra my grandmother told me. The way you prepare the bed, that's the way you sleep, you know. So we, we did it right, you know. That's it.
Yeah, you have to make a lot of changes as well. That's, that's, that's another uh, good point, you know, that we play five changes from last week, four because of injury <coughs> and one was uh, Fitzy for Osman because Osman have a bit of average game. But look, we play five new players and you, don't, you wouldn't feel and that's depth is also count in this competition, you know. So, I, it's, it's so far, it's all good, you know what, I can't complain. You want me to be modest? We lose one day. Don't tell Clive that I said it. Well, well, maybe next year. We'd be surprised at Joel, but man, that's not the same. And I'm not surprised because I nominated him. <laughs> okay? And why I nominated him? It's good for Shane to score the goal. But Joel Porter, when it was nil nil and one nil and two nil, he did all the hard work. And Shane will be the first one to admit if he gave him. Shane could have scored another two goals from the service of Porter. But that's for me, typify the team. You know, Porter, you know, he come here with all the glory of England. He work hard, he defend. He, he create, he do, very unselfish player, and for me, he's a man of the match. That's it. One so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. One more